I'm going to go back a little bit over uh, what happened in the past because it's going to take to get to where we're going to be. Um, I met with Dr. Bill uh, Moritz in Lansing outside the Mason Building on October 9th of 2013. I went down to Lansing to discuss what's going on out here at Hoosier Valley and tried to get with the director of the DNR, but apparently he was up in the UP for a meeting. And while I was there, we discussed the land use orders um, that were put in, in place for the shooting range. And I explained to him I believe that the land use orders are beyond the reach of the director of the DNR. And I do not believe, and still, or did not believe, and still do not believe they're enforceable because they're beyond the scope of the DNR's authority. In the memorandum to the director dated June 21st, 2013, it states that the authority comes from the Natural Resources and Environment Protection Act, 1994, PA 451 is amended, which authorizes the director to issue orders to implement land use rules. In section 504, parentheses one, of that act, it states the department shall, I can't say this word, promulgate rules to protect and preserve lands and other properties under its control from depredation, damage, or destruction, or wrongful or improper use or occupancy. None of those standards were met to write this land use order. In fact, when you go to the memorandum from, to the director, it states in the last paragraph, public comment was taken and used to draft a proposed land use order for the area to provide a certain level of immediate relief from, this is important, user slash public conflicts while keeping the area open to recreational target shooting. That is not listed under what gives the DNR authority. Um, the land use order was not the DNR's own admission created to protect, preserve lands, and other property under its control from, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, as I read earlier. Now, with that being said, I urge the director to retract the end and end any land use orders on the land of Hoosier Valley shooting range. I do understand we need to find a solution to the problems the neighbors the range are experiencing. Even though most have moved in there after 1960 when the range we agreed was set in place. My proposal to Dr. Moritz was to open some sort of official range in the surrounding area. Perhaps we could create several ranges that are built with private slash public partnership to draw people away from the Hoosier Valley area. Most shooters I know would head to improved range with benches and a roof. There are however some that would enjoy taking their children to Hoosier Valley to teach a children to shoot where they learn. I know there's a historic factor there that is important to me to pass on to my children and my grandchildren if I ever have any. I believe that the DNR would open a better range and serve ranges overcrowding in Hoosier Valley. Um, if you open up one range and close down Hoosier Valley, you're going to have overcrowding at that other range. It's not going to create, solve the problem, it's going to move the problem to some other neighborhood. Um, we need to come together and stop the black or white solution, closing this, opening that. How about we do both? We open up another range, keep Hoosier open and be respectful of the people that live there with some reasonable hours um, that we can agree upon as shooters down there. Um, we need to remember the land belongs to the citizens of the state and we need to clean up the mess when we're down there. Perhaps be better stewards of the area, we're taking out more garbage than we bring in. Remember that people live there and shoot at reasonable, at reasonable times. I support opening new ranges throughout northern Michigan, including but not limited to proposed ones presented tonight. I would also encourage the DNR to look at land near Reynolds Road as another possible range. If you only open up Ren Range and try to close Hoosier to shooting, you're just moving the problem to another neighborhood, as I stated earlier. Remember that last year, several residents asked how many complaints do you need to close the range. Law enforcement says that since the new rule, uh, rule calls have gone up, I believe that a few people calling into law enforcement try to get the ranges closed. Please do not reward people for their bad behavior. Please do not teach our children that if you harass people, law enforcement, and government officials, you'll be able to pull your way into reaching your goals. Come to the table of solutions, not problems, and work together to achieve a common goal. Thank you.